so good morning my people my name is all things africa nana kissy babe kenyan youtuber uh all i tell you just welcome back to my youtube channel and guys i hope you're all well i hope you're staying safe i keep on reminding you and i hope culture the ones who have gone to school you are focusing you are looking at the mirror and saying that you are on competition you want to better yourself you're working hard because let me tell you hard work pays let me tell you so today is another day as usual me january 2021 here in the house so me i've just sat down and i've started reflecting that's why i told you guys me this dating thing for me i think i'll just need to 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 pause for a while let me just focus on myself first and then others will follow i don't know what god has planned for me but you know sometimes you just need to chill out so the, uh, this is a story it's dating but i know many people will judge me but let me tell you eh all us women have passed through the same i know all women have dated as many men as possible me i've done that and i'm not embarrassed so if you want to throw stones that is up to you me i don't care i'm just telling you things as it is so uh a while back when i was still in college is it co no i had finished now my college so i told you guys i used to be in mombasa polytechnic so i uh, there is this guy who used to be our neighbor he used to be a nurse. Okay, he was coming from located to Mombasa because of work. Yeah, he was a nurse. First, he was working at Aga Khan Hospital in Mombasa. And then he transferred to Mombasa Hospital. So we used to be like friends. Friends. And we were, you know, neighbors. When maybe he's at work, you know, this nurse thing that sometimes people are in night shift and all that. So when he used to wash his clothes, he used to call me and tell me, please, Nana, remove the clothes for me. You know, the neighbor thing, he like... You know how Mombasa is, eh? So me, I used to do all that. So when we started talking and then friends catching up, going to the beach, nothing more. No friends at the friends with benefit, no, just friends. You know, people out here believe that a man and a woman cannot just be friends. So I came to Nairobi year 2013. When I came to Mombasa, I think it was 2011. So we were friends for like for two years and then I came to Nairobi, but he was still my friend. Then there's some time back when I was working, when I just okay work, and then ah, gonna, you have your money, you want to go to Mombasa. You know, now I used to live in Mombasa, but I've never partied in Mombasa when I have my own money. Now, ah, me and my friends we decided let's go to Mombasa and have fun. But then I told my friends, you know, I have a, a guy friend in Mombasa who is a nurse and he, he rarely has, he's rarely at his home. So instead of paying a hotel or booking an apartment, let's go to his place. Then they agreed. Then what I did, I called this friend of mine. I'm not, let me say he was called John. This is, uh, it's just, it's not a real name. I'm not going to say his name because you know, Neza Suhiwa. So I called John and I told him that we are coming with my friends. It was a friend of mine called Jedida and another friend of, my, of mine called Ken. So we decided to go to this. So I told John that we are coming to Mombasa for vacation for like three to four days because apparently we are going to Malindi to look for land. Remember your land I've done since Kitambo, let me tell you guys. So because this friend of mine, the lady friend now Jedida, knew that me, I at least I was from, from I knew Mombasa very well and Malindi. I was the best person to take her. Because you know in Malindi you can go, you get many people selling new land, and that land is hewa. At the end of the day, you don't have title deed or any title deed or anything. So let's get back to John. So I told John, we are coming with a friend of um, I'm coming with a friend of mine, and we want to stay at your place. We we thought that it's not good to book an hotel, and your place is there. Then he told us it's okay, but you know there's nothing in the fridge. Then I told him it's okay. We are going to buy food because at least now we've saved up. We are not going to to book for an uh, an hotel. So, Sissy, how take a take care? We went by road trip. You know, it was my first salary, so I couldn't book a flight. Eh? So, we decided, me and my friends, we go by bus. No, what take a take those, those days I used to drink. Let me tell you, I remember in Ken Tobias channel, she told you guys, uh, we, tell, we told you guys that I used to drink. I used to drink with uh, We bought a whiskey, then the wow, road trip to Mombasa. So, when we went to Mombasa, we, call, we went to where John was working at Mombasa Hospital, and then he gave us his keys. You know, we went, 
at because that time we were working so on friday in the evening we decided to go those days were no curfew so we went by evening bus at uh, 10 p.m bus and when we reached nairobi at around 7 a.m because of traffic up or kibarani so John gave us his keys, we went to his place, and then we decided because he called Nini John because he's the one who has decided to host us here and he's not even around. Let's call him and then we go to out party. So we went out partying at Bella Vista. That time I was a member in Bella Vista, the one in Pembe Zandovu, the one we were going towards Dock. There were two Bella Vistas by then. There was the one in uh, Pembe Zandovu, the one we were going towards Dock, and the one just opposite poster digo road so me i used to go the one in pembe zandovo so we went out partying we drank and then we were drinking and dancing you know me i love dancing even if i had someone tell me that i have to left bit me i don't care me i dance because i love music i don't dance because i'm going for a competition no me I dance because me i enjoy the music so when we were dancing john John said that he was on a hurry because the next day he was going to work at uh, 10 a.m. I think 9 a.m. shift. Me, I don't understand this shift thing of nini, of nurses. Then he told me that he needed to talk to me outside. So me, I escorted him outside. And then he told me, uh, Nana, let me tell you, you've been my friend for like three years. But I feel like we are more connected. I've, I've, dated, I've dated, sorry, it's morning. I've dated girls out there and I don't feel that I feel for them. I feel that there's something missing. You know me, I used to be a neighbor that when I cook, I used to give him food. Just like a friend because he's a bachelor living by himself, cooking is a hassle. I decided when I cook, I add another plate so that I give him. So he told me that something was missing and he had seen that I'm the right woman for him, that he has talked to to the to his parents and his you know that time I used to live with my guardian. That's you know the story that my mom passed and then the brother of my mother took me. I used to live with him in Mombasa, so he used to get her everything for me. So he was like a dad to me. Not many people in Mombasa knew that uh we are many people knew that he was he was just a dad to me and you know that my uncle had another son so you were just two so people thought that i'm the first boy and he have talked to you to your to your to your uncle because i used to tell him everything i've uh, talked to your uncle even my sister said that you are the right ideal woman for me then i told him why do you go ahead and make decisions and tell people before telling me then he told me it's that he wanted blessing he he was a kissy by the but a kissy who lives in nakuru then me I told him because me right now i'm i'm toxicated with alcohol and those times i used to even drink shots of camino and you to me talk about to me talk about so I told him we'll talk this thing out when I'm sober. But I use you know I'm the type of person even if I'm drunk how even if we talk anything me I remember but Sipendangi could make decision when I when I'm drunk. So he went. So when he went, you know well, that was the that was the day now the next day we were traveling. That day so I took a sema to me moka. Let's just book a flight coming to Nairobi because on Monday, on Tuesday, we were going back to work with my friends. That day, Jumbo Jet was around 4,500. Yeah. So when we came back to Nairobi, John called me. Sorry, John called me telling me that Nana, uh, that, that thing I told you, I'm very serious. Uh, I will be off for five days. I'm coming to Nairobi so that we talk. Me, and then I told him, it's okay, you come to Nairobi to Nairobi you know he was a friend of mine so when he came to Nairobi he told me Nanami I want to date with you this is time I've already broken up with uh, uh, that guy from Port uh, I had already been, uh, broken on uh, broken up with uh, uh, Hamisi the guy who passed on my first boyfriend so I was just there I was just busy enjoying life like I'm young I have work I'm partying around friends dating was not a thing for me there by the way I, I was in a place that I was feeling myself, eh? So, he came to Nairobi. When he came to Nairobi, we went to the sisters' place. He came, the sisters lived in Utawala and the other ones, you can come around. So, when he came, no, I never told him. Right, there, I, I used to live by myself, but me, I'm the type of person I don't like bringing boys, men in my house until he's the one, you know. So he came, he went to his sister's, he came by morning, but so apparently he was in Nairobi by evening, so we couldn't meet because it was work day for me. 
So we met uh, on Friday because he stayed in Nairobi for like five days. So he, we met on Friday and then he told me when we go to his sister's place. So we went to the sister's. Ah, you know how sisters are. They vetted me. And then they looked at me, which is okay. Me, it's okay. They were looking out for their brother. The sisters told me that, you know, my brother tells us that he really loves you. Then I told them, it's okay. Right now I'm not dating, but it's okay. Let's ch just continue being friends and then we'll know from there what will happen. No, yes, you just can say yes. So see, one thing led to another. He went back to Mombasa. We kept on talking via phone. You know, he used to work at a theater. So I think he was transferred to work at theater. So at theater, he, he used to work like 24 hours. When he goes to work like 1 p.m. today, he'll get out tomorrow 1 p.m. So, you know, I can't like be disturbing him all the time talking to him. So... We decided it was official that we were dating even the sisters knew. So when he went to Mombasa, me now I was busy. My my work was very wanting, work very demanding, eh? very demanding. And I did not have to. You know, jobs are contact place in Nakwanga when you work at a parastato. You hardly even get leave. How can you get leave and that money you are paid yourself? Yani? It was hell for me, but uh, at least I thank God that it was experience well learned. So when we used to talk, yani, it reaches the point that so, sir, familiarity, let's say familiarity, yani, so, so, it's like 2013, 2014, 2015. Now familiarity, but me, I did not go, we used to go to his sister's place because I was not dating the sister, I was dating him. And his home area was Nakuru. So, in the period of those two years, he used to tell me to go to Mombasa. I couldn't go to Mombasa because sick one apart a chance to Mombasa. So, most of the time, he used to come to Nairobi. But then, it reached a point that when he went back to Mombasa, he could stay like... And we are dating. Mind you, we are dating. He could stay like one week or two weeks. We are not talking. We are not talking at all. I used to call him. He doesn't pick up my call. It's okay if I call you, don't pick up my call. There's something called missed call. Of course, you'll call back. He never used to call back. I'm telling you, John. And he was rude. I don't know how why kissy men are rude. He was rude and he was so entitled. When I go out clubbing, maybe I post, you know, me, I used to love go partying and then when I'm drinking something, I just post it in social media. Not because I want to show off. I want that picture to be there. So the time that maybe this time next year, when I see that photo, I remember the good times I used to have. You know, people are different. He used to tell me, are you drinking? And you know, you have ulcers, blah, blah, blah. Me, I told him, this is my life. You know, you've not married me. And you found me drinking. So it's either you get used to it or not. I'll stop drinking on my own terms, not because you are telling me not to drink. It was just like a conversation. So two weeks, three weeks, that the is not picking. So there's a time now my contract ended in the year 2016. This, this story I'm telling you before I dated the Tanzanian guy. The Tanzanian guy started dating him 2018. Get it clear. So my contract ended around 2016. So you know that time I'm free. I can travel everywhere. I was stressed. Eh? That time is the time you look for jobs. I think, I remember I... I applied for like over 200 jobs. Most of them declined. Many saying that they'll call me. You know how looking for work, hustling for work it is. How it is. So I used to call him and tell him that me, I don't have work right now. Let me come to Mombasa. Then he tells me, it's okay, come to Mombasa. Mimi na ujinga yangu na na. Ati simuambia ni tumie fea. Yani, yi kukula fea ni mekuja kuchanuka yuzi. Me with my pride, that because I used to work and I used to liking using my money, pride. Na chukua fea yangu, I go to Mombasa. So when I go to Mombasa, I call him. You That time now he vacated from South Coast to Bamburi now. Bamburi Muisho. There. Mtani. Ata skumbukim. Mtamboni. I try calling. We've talked like today. This is Thursday. Nana come to Mombasa. Now I'm happy telling my sisters, hey, let me go to Mombasa and check out my boyfriend's tuning in. Yani Rakos, I knew I'll have time with him. Hey. We we'll talk today. I'm traveling tomorrow. When I travel, because I used to use bus now. Train came 2017, June. I go to Mombasa. I called the, so I used to pass by 
first where I used to, my guardians used to take care of me because you know home is always home it's always home is best so i used to pass by to their, their place and then i go then that's what i used to do so when i go home and then i call him john is not picking up john is not picking up at all at all at all he was not picking up and i remember that time i stayed in mombasa like three days he was not picking up picking up his call at all until i come back to nairobi that's the time he'll pick up telling me that he was busy and you know mind you I do not know where he, he vacated to Babu. You know, you just can't go somewhere you don't know. Me, I'm pride. I'm buying. I'm So me, I come back to Nairobi. I tell my sister it is like this and this and then my sister tells me maybe that guy is busy. But I remember I told my friend every time. This is not the first time he. It was not the first time he did that. It was almost three or four times. I go. He doesn't pick up his call. And me, with my stupidity, I tell myself that let me just give him a chance. Maybe he'll change. Wapi. So when I go back, he doesn't pick. Then I came to tell my friend, you know, there's this guy. We are like that thing. The doesn't told me. Let me tell you the truth. It's like this guy has to. Maybe he lives with a woman in the house. Me, I told you, I know. I don't think whether John can do that. But he can. Until... Yeah, I'm telling you, until some time back, he saw me in social media and came to Zbea channel. See, you guys, you know that I started YouTube video this year, my own channel, but I used to appear in came to Zbea, rarely. So he saw me there, and then he he sent me a photo of that, eh? Of, I think we were talking about the Kempiski guy, yeah, the Kempiski, the way, the online dating thing. Then he sent me that uh, nini in my WhatsApp, and then he told me, ah, it's, it, he wrote something in status, you disappointed, what, what, what. That, I did remember that time I was in Mombasa, and I was calling him like three days. And I was called, like, I to, and it, let me tell you, this, and it, until it reached a point, I can't go desperate, and I was not even desperate. I don't know what, I don't know. I think it's idleness or what, but I don't regret me, normally I say whatever that I've passed through in life, it is an experience well learned. What I'll tell you people, don't re never regret anything. When you regret, even you need to regret why you are you born. Never regret. Just say in your life that is an experience well learned. So I remember that time, it was 20th October. I will never forget. Uh, he, he, he sent me that photo. Then I told him, sorry, I had I was on a call. It was 20th October when he sent me that photo. After texting, uh, uh, after, 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 Writing something on our sub status, then I told him why why I've called you severally like a stalker and you're not picking up my calls. Then he said he he sent me a photo, yo ya kempiski. Then I told him what's the meaning of this? At he so you've been dating people while in Nairobi. Then I told him, let me tell you something. Eh? Don't never believe everything that is in social media. Of course it was true, but I was trying to prepare myself. Then he told me, no. I know you, Nana, I know what kind of a person you are. Then I told him, oh, so if you know that what kind of a person I am that I keep on dating around, then he started judging my personality. He started putting my self-esteem low. Then he started all those things. He was, he was, I think even he was, he was kind of a narcissist or something. Then I told him, let me tell you something. This was just a video. And this is something I, I had to be honest. I was on, a, on my way coming to Nairobi. It was something that happened, but it never happened. I never met that guy. I was just experiencing something because it's like you are abandoning me. You are avoiding me calling. I think I'm the one who is, uh, I was in that relationship all that long. I think I was dating myself. You don't, uh, don't do anything my birthday. You don't send me birthday gift or even a message. You know, Valentine, and it was like I was the one who, who was fighting a losing battle. Then he told me, sorry, let me tell you, I'm telling you, he, does, he didn't know that I was on my way to Nairobi. Then he told me that he come to my house now. Then I told him, how can I come to your house? I've been calling you those four days I was in Mombasa and you're not picking up my phone. Ati, uh, I'm on my way to Nairobi. Ati, no, uh, we, want, we need to solve this issue. Eh? You know, you've made me even drink the whole day. I was in the house the whole day. Then I told him, if you were in the house the whole day, why are you not picking up my phone? I think, no, nah, nah, you are not serious with me. I want you to come and relocate and live with me. I Then I told him, how can I live with you? And right now I don't have, it was 2016 now, 2016 towards 2017. How can I come and live with you and I'm not working? 
my sisters are the one who take care of me you know you know sisters that I'm fight nini she gives you like my sister at that time ilikuwa ni basic housing and feeding me the money that i used to have ilikuwa ni kidogo sana then he told me at even here in mombasa she will come i'll take care of you then i told him i can't come utanidharau because first thing you don't appreciate my sisters i come and meet your sisters but you you can't come to meet my sister telling my telling me that my sisters ni watiaji let me tell you blood is the blood is thicker than water then told me no you just reach uh, uh, nairobi and then we we'll talk then i told him it's okay then he told me that me i love you nana and i will always love you how can you love someone and there's a time he was even sick four weeks he had dengue fever and is not communicating that he's sick i go to mombasa to take care of him it's okay it's okay mimi unajua mimi mimi wasijalingi mimi nasema anga hii maisha hii dunia we are just here temporarily So when I reached Nairobi then he called me now. Now he started calling me because he saw that I was I was almost giving up on him. By then I was so tired. It was so draining being in a relationship by yourself, always any fighting and losing battle, you know. Because I I learned to love him by the way the way he was, but he never appreciated me the way I am. You know me I'm loud. So take it or leave it. Me I'm just like that. No one will ever change me. It is for you to learn how to live with me you know because me I cannot change someone so when i reached nairobi then he told me nana i want to tell you something and then i told him it's okay and you know my dad wants to see you he told me that he wants you to go to nakuru and see him then i told him me i cannot go to your place if you are not there how can i go introduce myself to in lost place and the husband to be is not even there Then he told me it's okay he'll find some time to be off and then we go then he told me that his sister has given birth that he wants me to go and check out his sister then i told him right now i'm broke you know when you go to someone to see a baby you need to buy hata uh, kama ni pampas even if it's milk or what then he told me don't worry i'll send you money to buy diapers and you will go to go to see my sisters sasa mimi bado nampani mimi mjinga bado but in love let me tell you love is not blind you just keep on giving someone chances because you say even if i go to another relationship kitambo wanze kuzoea wao mtu mwingine it's hard it's tough yani kitambo zoea mtu into a it's tough getting to know person of someone is tough so me i normally say that it's good to give someone chances but when he messes the chances now eh hata umemwombea mungu na bado that person is not changing unaondokea unaona vile 2020 tuliondokea tukiingia 2021 unaondokea Ah, he never he never called me he told me that this he never called me that day at telling me at you know my sister was far i couldn't allow you to go so now that's the time i decided i this relationship is not working and then you know there's some time back then he told me that he wants to come to nairobi again after all those then he told me that he wants me to go to where the sister used to play and that time i was babysitting solange i couldn't leave solange alone at going to a man Then I think even he hated Solange because Solange that, that during that time was an excuse. Then he just he just yani what I'm telling you it's like I was dating myself. I used to break the silence. I was fighting a losing battle. I used to force him to talk to me. I could call him he could even stay for weeks or even a month without talking to me. I was just there even if it is through you my virtual friends just comment in the comment section we don't wait for someone who is who is not even there so we'll just move on move on by either dating another person but that one i don't agree because that's reborn or just move on by focusing on yourself and loving yourself more than ever so that's how i decided to end to end the relationship i never told me that we are over me i'm the type of person i don't tell someone that we are over you've seen all my story time me I just go silent like that if you have friends you know this lady she's she's the one who loves calling but if she's silent right now things are no no so up to there that's the time now i decided nikaka 2017 almost the one of 2017 because i broke up things 20s apana ah, I, I, i started dating the Tanzanian guy 2018 i remember june yeah I I think I gave myself like up and I need to do then I met this Tanzanian guy I was so I do one thing led to another so model of the story guys ladies especially most of my virtual friends I know they are ladies women 
always put yourself first happiness starts within you even if you are dating someone and you love that someone happiness starts with you within you first so that at least any always focus on yourself put yourself first how and how many how and that to mess sana acha nikwambie and now they say that as women are bad you are the ones who made us to be bad acha tunuambi because as women even if you don't love someone you start dating someone tunakwanga na hiyo automatic caring kind na hiyo ku care about someone and to 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 be kind to someone hiyo ndio inalidingi to love na pia matendo yako ndio utapenda mtu you hear so guys please ah that's the end of my story just always focus on yourself na mjipenda this john guy really messed me up cuz i broke like people wanted to engage me but because that i used to know at dating thing this dating thing at you be friends with someone then you date that's a scam but it depends with people let me just say at generally it's a scam cuz some people meet as friends they date and then they get married others you can meet someone just today you fell you fall in love you love us love at first sight you date you get married it depends others arranged marriages but me i prefer arranged marriages like tambo because if you don't know someone the more you live like hindus the way they used to do when you don't know someone when you start living with that person mateno yake inafanya unampenda zaidi and then you automatically you learn to love that someone so guys thank you so much for all those watching my videos i really appreciate you so much Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share and always put your notification bell on which is on the left side so that it notifies you when my videos are up. And another thing, this is for you things Africa. I understand most of the time I speak Kiswahili and I don't put subtitles. So she she shall can she she suggested that uh, I be teaching because I know most of my most of my subscribers are from diaspora and most of them don't understand so I'll be teaching you simple simple languages like for instance saying habari it's hi come means kuja i'll put them in the comment section or description go means enter sit means katie now apenda love you means now apenda wote so guys subscribe to my channel support my channel from the start to the end that also also means supporting the channel give a thumbs up for this video support the channel also by paypal and put it there and guys makasiriko muache january 2021 is a year of new growth it's a new chapter of life it is us to write the chapter even if this curfew thing is messing us up it's okay we learn to live with it so long as we are compliant things will be okay yani you live according yani unashiv na maisha na kupeleka i love you guys have a great weekend see you